Hi there, my name is Jack Friedrichsen, and I am going to be presenting Teradrone Ventus, uh, a technology as a solution. Um, this is a research development project uh, for Communications 415. If you have any questions, please wait till the end. I have a little section for any questions that need to be answered. So, I will start off by doing a, an overview of Teradrone Ventus as the organization and then I'll move into a company business model technology and those involved, then to the GIS development cycle, data acquisition and integration, manipulation and management, data analysis, and finally, data output and products. <coughs> so in the organizational interview or overview, I will cover each one of these in each slide. So, TD Ventus is a private sector company and they're hired to they're hired by large companies as consultants. These large companies are like Exxon or Associated Engineering and they use drones to capture data and send this information to the organizations that, or clients. Um, their goal is to work together and provide the highest quality services as well as provide all solutions that they need to. There are three head offices Two of them are located in Alberta, one in Calgary, another Lethbridge, as well as one in Houston, Texas. However, there are over 30 branches that are in 30 different countries employing more than 500 people around the globe. So I chose TV, and why did I choose it? Because I, I had a huge interest in drones and the data capture techniques. Or another example would be, I just loved how their head offices in Calgary, Alberta, which is convenient for me. Um, as well as I did a little interview with Teradrone Ventus, I sent a personal email to the company and I made sure to outline who I was and show interest in their company. So the company business model, uh, technology, and those involved. So I'll discuss each one of these as we go through these slides here. So there are many key players within TerraDrone Ventus because they are the world's number one industrial drone solutions provider. For example, one of the main key players could be the 500 employees around the world who provide all this data and provide all these drone flyings for companies that need this data collection. Or it's the large companies that TD Ventus works with who provide um, funding or even sponsors to their projects that they're working on. Um, the systems that TD Ventus uses is revolutionary. They're used to collect, analyze, distribute information, all that, except one of the most important is the operating system. The operating system that, of that would be the drones, which are capable of collecting mass amounts of data with all the sensors that they have. So location affects TD Ventus because they're an oil and gas based company, as you can see, because they're located in both Alberta and Texas, which are huge in the oil and gas industry, uh, and energy sector especially. And however, they have, their technologies have increased so much that they've been able to use uh, these powerful operating systems to work in any environment possible, as well as remove people off the ground so it can completely reduce risks and that people might have to take and so these drones can fly so high up in the air and provide so much information that it's they can work in practically any location around the world. Um, and these drones are what provide the overall GIS function because they are what collect and collect the data for the employers to actually analyze. So what is Terra Drones? Purpose. Their main purpose is essentially to provide effective, efficient, and safe solutions to all the problems that their clients have. This can be done, for example, by reducing human risk just by using UAVs alone. I'll now dis discuss the uh, GIS development cycle. So the GIS development cycle is based off of the data collection. However, it can also be used for when they 
take the data and make or map overlays or models that they distribute to companies. However, some of the biggest and most important factors is timely and cost-effective solutions, which interest companies and make them want to work with TerraDrone Ventus because it's so cost-effective and efficient. Uh, here are some of the steps that they take to ensure customer satisfaction as well as find and, and basically attack the problem and find a solution for it. One of the main things that TerraDrone Ventus does is they have specific jobs for specific people. So for the, in this example, I chose a field drone operating uh, position and some of the training that they would provide in this situation would be job safety and flight procedures. However, it is your responsibility to have the requirements such as remote control, uh, unmanned aerial vehicle experience. Now I'll talk about data acquisition and integration where we can acquire and collect all the data as well as integrate and develop the data for production. So in acquisition and collection, air photos can be taken or LIDAR can be sensed to formulate essentially models or maps. Uh, these air photos can be very diverse using uh, near infrared or true color compositions. The data integration and development is the process that they take all these, all the collected data and they can easily map it because of the high accuracy, high precision, and valid data. And these models and maps are unparalleled to any other company. So many software applications, or manipulation and management, sorry. So we use different softwares and different hardwares to help TerraDrone Ventus produce its maps and share it with their clients. <clears throat> so some of the software that they use, um, these pro this can be done this data transfer to computers is easily done through programs such as Autodesk or even ArcGIS because they can store, they can use Civil 3D to store and manage data as well as organize it. Or they can use ArcGIS to create these maps and then share them online. But this is essential for creating these maps with overlays as well as construct models. They can create new maps or even they can use the data to overlay on maps that the client has provided them and they just need updating with. Same, same thing goes for the models. They can use the LiDAR data to create digital elevation models or 3D scanning models. So the hardware that's involved with TerraDrone Ventus is the online system. This grants access for TerraDrone Ventus to keep adding information, but as well as the client to take that information and view it while it's being put in so they can have any say with what they think is go going right or what's going wrong, as well as there's a privacy and protection uh, policy for the data. So they ensure that no data is shared with anybody, the data is not ever sold or shared, and they have a third party breach software in place to help reduce any risk of loss of data or corruption or stealing. Now we'll go over data analysis and GIS analysis functions and the streamline and processes used to streamline this data analysis process. <coughs> so these drones and unmanned aerial systems are allow for spatial and attribute data to be collected simply and eff effectively. Uh, especially with the use of the multi-sensors they can fly over once and collect tons of data and then put it into the system, which can be used for any maps. As you can see here, they can collect both the regular uh, spectrum that we can see, red, green, blue, as well as near infrared, which can be used for NVDI calculations and so on. In addition, to help streamline these processes, Autodesk, ArcGIS, those can be used to help store, manipulate, and share data either online or within their own programs. 
Finally, data outputs and products. So programs such as Civil 3D, ArcGIS, etc., are used to export these maps. But what's most important is these maps are provided online. Images, tabular data, anything like that can be stored and both parties can easily access it. In conclusion, I found that Terradrone Ventus is very innovative. I think that they will always strive and succeed with what they have in the future with them. My observations is that they have the ability to overcome any problem within the energy sector and be able to move on to new sectors such as renewable energy sources, such as wind farms or um, solar panels, stuff like that. Um, in the past, we've seen uh, studies, field studies, that have shown great success and customer satisfaction. And I would love to do a practicum with these, with this company. I would love to be a part of their team and help contribute to all the data collection that is possible through the drones that they use. Here's some of the reference study, references that I've used. So both of them are from the TerraDrone Ventus website. They have tons of information and that's what provided the bulk of this study. Any questions? Great, well thank you so much for your time.